Now I'd like to spend some time going over protocol optimization and troubleshooting. As I mentioned earlier, there is native chip and cross-linking chip, and each has its own advantages and disadvantages. With native chip, you typically get more efficient precipitation of the DNA and protein, as well as greater specificity because the binding is more predictable. You also have higher resolution, as low as a single nucleosome, compared to 200 to 1,000 base pair fragments you get with sonication. The disadvantages of native chip include the fact that it's only for histone proteins because the DNA is tightly interacting with these proteins. If you want to do chip of transcription factors, since their binding to DNA is not strong, you'll have to cross-link to ensure the protein-DNA interaction remains intact. Another disadvantage is that since the nuclease digestion is selective, the digestion may bias input chromatin, and there are also chances of chromatin rearrangement. And of course, if you use too much nuclease, you could over-digest the chromatin. Cross-linking chip, on the other hand, is much more flexible and can be performed with histone and non-histone proteins on all cell types, tissues, and organisms. In addition to DNA protein analysis, you can also analyze RNA protein and higher order protein-protein DNA interactions, and there is a reduced chance of chromatin rearrangements. There are, of course, several disadvantages of cross-linking chip, including the fact that overfixation can prevent effective sonication, enzymatic digestion won't be possible after formaldehyde treatment, formaldehyde can alter the binding of the antigen, and it has a lower resolution than native chip since you can't use micrococcal nuclease for digestion. Hopefully, this will help determine if native or cross-linking chip is more appropriate for your experiment.